Hi everyone! Hi! Today we are making roasted capsicum cream cheese dip. Is that what we call it? Yeah, roasted capsicum dip. It's a pretty popular option, you know, in the dip section at the supermarket, but that also tends to come with vegetable oils, usually sugar as well. So we just like to make it ourselves so we know exactly what's in it. And it's honestly pretty easy to make as long as you have like a blender or a food processor, a ninja bullet, something like that, you can easily make this. So the ingredients that we have to go in it are some roasted capsicums. Now we do have a video on how to roast them yourself. So you can do that. It's probably the most cost effective option. Um, but you can also buy them roasted. Just make sure that you check the ingredients that they're not, um, sometimes they're in sugar or something. So you just want them in like kind of water and vinegar or in olive oil. Um, we've also got some cream cheese, a block of cream cheese, some salt, pepper and garlic powder that we're gonna flavor it with. And then we're gonna stir through some chives at the end that gives it a nice flavor as well. From the garden. Mm. <laughs> So what we're going to do is pop everything in the blender except for the chives because we want those kind of stirred through at the end and blitz it all up. Your sister loves this. Yeah, she does love it. We might have to do a little trick yeah, over delivery. to drop it off. I think she would like that. <laughs> yeah. So I've just put the capsicums, I'm just going to pop the cream cheese and the salt, pepper and garlic powder all into the blender and then we will blend it until it's nice and smooth and the colour of it is so vibrant, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And you're going to do it dance style, just the whole block straight in. Oh, mm, maybe. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> well, it's a pretty high powered blender. Ooh. You probably want your oh. cream cheese to be soft as well. Just makes it a bit easier to yeah. get it smooth quicker. And then we're going to blitz it on high till it's all smooth and you might need to kind of stop it and scrape it down in between but let's see how we go okay so that was a little bit tricky in this i normally use like our small food processor and it works really well but i used this blender today and it took a little little few more goes than normal but you got there got you there, got there you got there so we just want to get this all out into a bowl and then we're going to stir through our chives. Okay, so I'm just going to stir through these chives now. It just gives it like a nice bit of freshness and colour. But if you don't have, you could leave it out or you could put in some other herbs like some parsley or basil or sort of anything green and fresh would be nice. So, crackers, how do you get this into your mouth? <laughs> So there's lots of things you can use. Vegetables, um, you know, like celery, carrot sticks, capsicum on capsicum. I would do it. Would you do it? I would do it. Um, but there are some um, good low carb cracker options. These you can buy at the supermarket. Now the brand is Olena's. Now you need to make sure you're getting the kind of the seeded crackers because they have other ones that look like little squares like this. These are long, kind of, all the way along here. These are the ones you want. The ones that are little square ones, they've got flour and stuff in them. So mm -hmm. you want just the pure seed crackers. If you're unsure, look at the ingredients on the back. Um, but these are great. They're definitely the lowest carb option at the supermarket. There's also another brand, I think it's called OB's Finest. And they have a very similar one. I think one is at Coles and one is at Woolies. Um, but they're just seeds, so they're quite low in carbs. So they're the best option, really. These are another option, but they are higher in carbs. They do have grains in them. Um, but they are a good option. I guess if you're kind of kids want to have yeah. these they're good for kids or yeah. if you're entertaining yes. just put these out and you can yeah. have some and you're right to go these might be a bit too bird seedy for some people yeah. so these are a good kind of middle ground i think like and my favorite we buy these from iher yes yeah and these are from julian bakery and i like them because they they can hold a lot of dip they're quite sturdy. That's, that's the thing I struggle with with these because they, um, they're, they're, they're a little fragile. Yeah. yeah, these you can really pack a <laughs> fair bit in there. Should I try? Yeah, definitely. So you can see how like the colour of it is so orange and it looks 
really nice and creamy. Does anyone else go like heavy on the dip? Dan, Always. Dan's a big dipper. Big dipper. <laughs> Pork rinds is another mm. good option actually that we didn't mention. So also from iHerb, we really like the Epic brand pork rinds because they don't have any, uh, they're not cooked in vegetable oil or anything again. So they are great. And sometimes you can get a real good scoop on a big pork you rind. You can. That's Dan's favorite. <laughs> also, we like to make salami crisps and yeah. cheese crisps. The cheese crisps are much more fragile than the salami. You can get a big scoop on a salami <laughs> crisp as well. Um, so yeah, they're all of your options. The plenty of range of choices for dipping. You didn't say how it was. Oh, I better have another one. <laughs> <laughs> we we're too busy talking about all the cracker options. Also, we do have a video that has all the kind of best cracker options available in Australia, so I will link that. It is so good, you can definitely like, sit there and eat a few of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of smoky with the capsicum. Mm, and sweet. And sweet, yeah. yeah. Um, creamy. What more could you want? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, definitely give this video, uh, this video, definitely give this recipe a try. I think it would be really good if you had people coming over, you know, if you're having a barbecue or something, you can have a dip like this, these crackers from the supermarket. Some cut up veggies. Yeah, exactly. And it's, you know, you put out a little spread and it's still something that, you know, everyone can enjoy and is low carb. If you've liked this recipe, guys, remember, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.